Um, I think that by joining this strike, this climate strike, we're sending a, a message. It's a very clear, very powerful message. It's a message that our, that, to say that our university community is actually committed to taking action, to doing something, to do something that really is going to have to address some of the most formidable challenges that we face. Now, as a, a large research university, we are actually in a very powerful position to help tackle climate change and, and make a real positive impact on the world. Um, we do research across this institution that makes a really significant contribution. Um, if, if, you, if you look across the university, literally hundreds and hundreds of our academics and our students work on topics that are relevant somehow. Um, and that goes from, from energy technology to atmospheric chemistry to pollution to plastics technology to, to public policy, behavior change, you name it. The range is astonishing. And what's been really encouraging is that even in the relatively short time that I've been here, I have seen people actually discover the relevance of the work that they've been doing for some of these issues. So the number of people being drawn into this sphere is actually growing, and that is tremendously encouraging to see. So research is one, but there's a very important other way in which we can help, in which I think we have to help, and that is in how we educate the next generation. Um, the students we stand with together today, the young people who will be the ones who are most affected by the impact of climate change in years to come. And I'm absolutely delighted um, to announce today that we will be embedding education for sustainable <laughs> development into the curriculum of every single course we offer in this university. <laughs> there is a reason for doing that. And whether our students go on to become engineers or doctors or linguists or historians, it doesn't matter. We want every single one of them to be equipped with the education, with the knowledge, the skills, the values, the attributes that they need to work and live in a sustainable way. And in doing so, we really hope that Sheffield students will become change makers for a sustainable future. It's also important that we lead by example. We're a big organization and we want to have, and we can have, a positive impact on our city and our region. And we can do that not only by, by finding answers to global problems, answers that are truly of global significance as well, but also by translating our own research into real world solutions that work here. Solutions that make our campus, the city, more sustainable. Um, as a university, we've got got something to be proud of already. We've cut our emissions by more than 30% since 2005. We will meet our 43% reduction target by 2020. We have divested from fossil fuel companies entirely. <laughs> the university's transport fleet is more than 30% electric and that proportion will go up especially as new technology uh, becomes available and vehicles improve. And we will continue to invest in our campus and we'll do that in such a way that walking and cycling are really the most attractive options when you travel to and around the university. So our aim, and this is something we will stand for, is to become one of the most sustainable research intensive universities in the country. And we know there's a lot to do. Um, particularly on emissions, but we are absolutely committed to taking a science-led approach, an evidence-based approach in developing an action plan for becoming carbon neutral. Woo! So in the past year, we've been working hard on our sustainability strategy. It's a five-year sustainability plan. And we will share that with everybody in the university um, later this year. Um, in developing that, we've been working with the Students' Union, um, with our leading scientists and, and scholars, academic experts, to ensure that all the work is based on very solid evidence. 
Um, we will structure our action plan around the UN Sustainable Development Goals and it will truly contain actions and targets across the entire range of activities of the university. So we know that we don't have all the answers, we know that the challenges are really complex, but we're passionate about it. The entire community, I think, is passionate about it. It's vital that we keep working together on this, that we use our knowledge, our power, our influence, our expertise, and our voice to tell the world how to respond to the climate emergency for the sake of our planet and for the sake of generations to come. Thank you.